Hello guys, it's Michael here from Mixed Manga and welcome to this video. So yeah, so I thought I'd do a uh, little update uh, review of this week's updates. And there honestly hasn't been a lot of updates this week. It hasn't really been that impressive, you know. Obviously, all the kind of good stuff is to come. You know, we've had Legacy, we've had teasers about Elf City. And, you know, Elf City is going to be coming out soon. And also the new boss. Uh, those weeks uh, I'm uh, looking forward to more than uh, this past week and uh, that should be really exciting I can't wait I'm really excited about the new boss I can't wait for it we know I thought I'd cover it in a quick review video of the recent updates one of which is actually pretty interesting and pretty cool the first one is pest control uh, improve rewards um, this just tells you how to start if you want to do pest control it's pretty good you know void will be really really good in legacy again when um, uh, HP and strength bonus actually matters. It's actually going to be pretty good again uh, when you have like a set amount of HP and it's not based on um, uh, how much like armor the weapons got. But only in Legacy, it won't be that useful in EOC, I believe. It is kind of useful in EOC at the moment because uh, you obviously get a lot of DPS from it. But I don't think it's that good at kind of like necks and obviously not at some rolls at Virago and stuff like that because you just take too much damage. Uh, but like DPSing at Virago, I know some people in my clan use it, so it is quite good. So this is the area you really want to look down to if you are going to be doing it in the future for XP. I really don't recommend it. Honestly, get the void and get out. It is pointless pretty much otherwise. So basically, um, you can now buy increased stuff with the with the commendations which you get after completing games. You can now buy um, summoning XP, um, the same rate as prayer XP. And it says here the rate of XP gain per commendation has been increased for all skills. And then it also just says some other stuff. Seed, mineral, herb packs now give you a selection of resources in various amounts with a rare chance to get higher level resources. All in all, and also this Karazi, offhand Karazi sword, which is a Jessica sword. All in all, it's not really that interesting. <laughs> I have to say, it's not really that interesting an update. Um, there's a couple of other stuff to do with legendary pets and things like that. Honestly, this week is kind of, um, if you pardon the pun, a weak week. <laughs> you know, like, weak, never mind. <laughs> but yeah, it is kind of a weak um, uh, update week, and we haven't really seen a lot that much recently. Like, if I go back to the home page, if it's going to load, it'll probably lag a shit ton now. Um, come on, don't give me a white screen. Uh, recently, uh, last week, we had the kind of Road 12 City and it just stuff about Legacy Mode Beta and stuff like that. And yeah, that's kind of not really great. The last two weeks have been kind of... I don't even think they had an update last week. But anyway, um, last two weeks have been pretty disappointing, so hopefully there's some more good stuff to come. Obviously, yeah, I understand they've been working really hard on Elf City and Legacy, so that's fair enough. So secondly, uh, what I want to talk about was the RuneScape Companion app, the Grand Exchange. This looks really awesome, and I really need to get myself into this. Basically, you can now use the Grand Exchange from your phone, uh, smartphone, uh, tablet, anything like that, and that is really, really cool because it means that anything with an app store, you can actually use this app to basically buy and sell things on the GE. Now, it's not exactly like how your Grand Exchange and Bank would work. You have to read this whole thing. I'm not going to read it out to you guys, but it is. If you want to use it, you should probably read this first as to what it says on some of the stuff. But it does mean that you can pretty much like flip items on the go, and people are going to start to make bank like a real. I know because. Like just think, all of those people who go to work and school on the train, you know, you could make a couple of, div, like, you know, make some flips on the train and make a lot of money. So that's pretty cool. I have to say, I think it is a pretty awesome update that um, uh, Jagex are thinking of taking RuneScape across, like, not just leaving it on a computer-based system, taking it across platforms. You know, there was the uh, the uh, old uh, rumor of them taking it onto Xbox and PS4 or PS3 or whatever, and they never did that. I don't think they will do that because it would be too difficult. But you know, taking some of the uh, stuff in the game onto uh, onto the App Store and stuff like that is pretty awesome. And I have to say, I'm definitely going to get stuck in on this. I've got a HTC smartphone myself, so I'm going to try this out, and that is pretty awesome, pretty cool update. I like it. But, you know, it isn't a major update, but it is, uh, it is a nice update. And obviously this goes along with the Authenticator, wherever it is as well, which is a must-have, I have to say. I have got rid of Jag recently, and I put on the Authenticator, so that's pretty cool. Um, which is pretty cool. I also want to know uh, the stuff to do with bonds, buying and selling a bonds. You can buy and sell them, but you can't uh, redeem them or make them tradable without logging into the game because obviously it isn't a RuneScape app. It is basically just based around um, 
just based around the Grand Exchange itself. So that's pretty cool. Um, really awesome update. Uh, however, a bit weak on the updates recently. Uh, hopefully they can uh, step it up a bit. Maybe next week we'll see the new boss. Who knows? Because this is about the same time last year that they brought out Virago. So in theory they should be bringing out the new boss soon. Which would be pretty awesome. So yeah guys, a quick little update video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, thanks for watching.